okay? And to do that, I'm going to let epsilon be a positive number greater than zero. And since we already found the, uh, the delta, I'm just going to basically state given delta equal to minimum of 1 and epsilon over 10 greater than 0, let absolute of x minus 3 be less than delta. Thus, by doing this inequality, we're saying that x plus 6 is less than 10. Thus, you can leave out this thus. As a matter of fact, you can even leave out the let. You got to put this in here, though. You could just leave out these other words, but this is a proper way to write it. Absolute x minus 3, since I wrote that first, I'll go ahead and write it down here first, times x plus 6 is less than 10 delta. Now, if you don't understand what I did here, basically I took x minus 3 times x plus 6. So I wrote it here. x minus 3 times x plus 6 is less than, less than, delta times 10, which is 10 delta. Because this is true. This times this is less than this times this. And I'll, I'll prove it to you. Watch. 2 is less than 3, and 5 is less than 6. So that means 2 times 5 is 10 is going to be less than 6 times 3, which is 18. See, every time the lessers are multiplied together, there will be less than the greaters that are multiplied together. Okay? Okay, so from this, thus, then you multiply it out. I guess you could say foil it out here. x squared plus 3x minus 18 is less than. Now, since we said delta is equal to the minimum of these two, I'm going to replace the delta with one of these two. So if, you know, a is equal to b or c, well, then I'm just going to replace a with b or c. So in this case here, I'm going to replace it with the epsilon over 10. And then they cancel out. Hence, x squared plus 3x minus 18 is less than epsilon. And that's it. You're done. So I'm going to do a few more proofs like this. Look for them. And I'm hoping that now you kind of have a better idea. And I'm really hoping that some of you are going, you know what, when you said this, I understood it. I never got this before. And I'm hoping that some of you might even, you know, feel a little more inspired to delve into the understanding of some algebra that, you know, you guys may have been doing before, but not really fully understand why. Um, I'm hoping that some of you found it interesting about the zero product rule and found out that it actually has something to do with this. I argue that I think some of the reasons why a lot of students have a hard time with these epsilon delta proofs is because they don't fully understand the fundamentals in the zero product rule. So I, I definitely know there's a link there, and I've, I've done checks with other students, and I find that, you know, once I reveal some of the inner workings, they come to find out that um, it's, it's more understandable after they realize certain aspects like the delta is equal to the epsilon divided by the bound, or to say that the bound times the delta is equal to the epsilon. So saying it like that, people seem to kind of get it, you know, and it starts making more sense. So like I showed you over here, down here in the bottom, you know, it's it's not made up. You know, people actually went through and and kind of went through it the way I did in order for, you know, for the discovery of how this works. And some of you, you know, that are really good at math and whizzes at, at problems will see that there's other things that can be done here that um, that are very clever which I'm not going to get into right now but you know for those of you that like a challenge um, there's other things that can be derived from this and I'll leave that up to you guys to kind of discover on your own as you're experimenting with these problems but I really want you guys to fully understand what's going on with this particular proof and how a lot of these things relate. And like I said before, you may have to watch this a few times and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it does take a while. But I promise you, every morning you wake up, it's going to become a little more understandable. Don't expect this to sink in overnight. It's impossible. 
and there's no way you're going to understand this in just a few minutes and there's no way you're going to be able to understand in just a few days this stuff took over 150 years for people to fully you know understand how this works so don't expect to learn something that took 150 years to happen overnight well anyway I really appreciate the patience. I did promise you this was going to be long. And look for my other videos. This is not the only problem I'll do. And thanks for watching.